So we're going to talk about water today, and it's very important. The reason I want to talk about water is because we need water for purification. We need water for our tahara. We want to make wudu. We want to clean ourselves for prayer. We want to clean ourselves in the bathroom. We use what? We use water. So we need to know about water. When is water good to use? What kind of water we can use? And so forth. So water, there's different types of water. The scholars, they talk about, uh, some of the scholars, they classify water into two types. Water that is pure and water that is nudges or impure. Water that is pure is natural water. Things like rainwater, water from snow, and the hail. Um, as Allah says in the Quran, وَيُنَزِّلُ عَلَيْكُم مِّنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءٍ لِيُطَهِرَكُمْ بِهِ That, and He caused rain to descend on you from the sky to clean you thereby. So that shows us that water, Rashad, come sit here on the sajjad, bring your sajjad over here and sit closer. That water is pure. You can sit on the sajjad if you want, or you sit here, it's okay. That water is pure, natural rain water, snow water. Uh, Sana, what about hail? You know what hail is? You know, it's like snow when it's hard and it comes down and it hurts when it hits you. Can we use that for wudu if it, if it melts into water? Yes. Yes, because it's pure. That is pure natural water. Also, water that is sea water. If you go to the sea, if you go down to the Cornish, go to the beach, or you go to a river somewhere, or you go to a stream, and it's moving, you can use that water. You can use the sea water, even if it has salt in it, sea, sea water is salty, and you can use river water. All of that is pure. So, Senna, can you make wudu if you're on a, a, a ship with the water? Can you make wudu with the sea water? Even though the fish use the bathroom in there? Yes, you can. Even though the fish can use the bathroom in there, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That doesn't change the water. You can use what you can use river water, you can use stream water, you can use sea water. Because the Prophet was asked by a man, a man was he used to travel on the sea. And in the last part of the he asked the, the Prophet, he said he said that we travel on the sea and we take with us very little water. Uh, can we make water from the sea? Because we don't want to use our drinking water. And the Prophet Sallallahu gave a, a, a very beautiful, concise answer as usual, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and at the end of the hadith he said, Huwa tuhurun ma'u al-hillu maytitu. That the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the water of the sea is pure and the fish, that which is dead in the water, is, is halal. Meaning, if you find a dead fish in the water, you can eat it. It's halal, halas. That's the hukum. So even any dead fish and stuff like this, although we want to be careful in case it died of disease, we don't know, but it's halal. It's lawful to eat. It's permissible to eat it. If you don't have something else to eat, eat it. Or if you, you know, whatever. That which lives in the sea and dies there, dies in the sea, dead, you know, sea creatures, is halal. And the water there, you can make wudu. It's tuhur, as the Prophet ﷺ said. Also, zamzam water. You can make wudu with zamzam. You can make wudu with zamzam water. That uh, it is... Uh, you, you, of course, we drink it and we want the purification. And the Prophet ﷺ, he... he uh, he used to also make wudu from it. The Prophet Sallallahu in a hadith, he made wudu from zamzam water. So we can make wudu from it. Okay? Also, something that's very important for us to know is that if water is changed in its color, in its taste, in its, uh, its color, its taste, or its smell by something nudges, then you don't use it. Okay? So, let's, 
look at some examples. This is the important thing that I wanted us to cover. For example, we just walked to the masjid, right? What did we see on the way to the masjid? It wasn't floor, but we saw nasty water. That water was sewage water. That water is mixed. In, there's water, and it was mixed with sewage. That stuff which comes out of the bathroom, meaning from people going to the bathroom, from urine and defecation. Okay, as he said, poo water. That was poo water. Can we make wudu with that poo water? No. Why? Because it's najasa. Because it's najasa, you're right. But it mixed with water. Why can't we use that water now? Because it has najasa. Because I just said, yeah, but I just told you. If water changes, this is probably the most important thing, and then maybe we'll stop. If water changes from one of these three things, then the scholars say it's totally impure. And this is what the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ show us. That if water changes, if water changes from nudges, from bad stuff, from poo, from urine, from uh, dead animals, from whatever that is changes it from najasa or blood or things like this, if it changes in its smell, if it changes in its taste, or if it changes in its color from the najasa, then you can't use it. So let's see some examples. What if we have this bucket of water, or the bucket we sometimes have in the in the bathroom, and akramakum Allah, someone uses the bathroom, and some of it splashes in the bucket, and the bucket is, is a, a bucket of nice water. And the bucket, you don't smell anything, and you can't taste anything in the water, and the color didn't change. And it's a big bucket. And some, a little bit, we had a guest, for example, we have a guest over, and they use the bathroom, and some splashes in that water. Some of their urine falls into that water. Can you make wudu with it? No. He said no. What do you say? Yes. She said yes. Huh? No. no. Why do you say no? Because the water is in the Why is the water in the jessa? Because the urine splashed in it. Because urine splashed in it, she said. You said yes. No, I said no. Oh, you said no. I you said yes. Why can we use it for wudu? Because the washroom is clean. The, 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 mm -hmm. the, the, but it's a bucket, remember? The bucket was, the water inside was clean. Yeah, but someone used the bathroom and some other stuff they used, when they potty, made potty, it went into the bucket. Can we make wudu in that? No. Okay, so everyone says no. We can make wudu with that water. Why? The reason why, because I told you before, and that's why I'm going to give you several examples. Because if the water does not change its color, or its taste, or its smell, then it is tahor. It's tahir. It's tahor. That means you can use it, it's pure. So if you have water, a big bucket of water for wudu, and someone, a baby comes and he spits in it, and he does a little bit of his thing in there, and it falls in there. But it doesn't change the color. It doesn't change the taste. And it doesn't change the smell. Can we make wudu with it? Yes. Yes. We can make wudu with the water, if it's natural water, or, you know, it hasn't been changed. It has to be changed by najasa. The way we look if something is changed is if the smell, the taste, or the color changes. Huh? The, the, when they go, the, the water that's home, it tastes, it's, it's not najas. The, the beach, it's, it's salty. Yeah, the beach is salty. That seawater, you can make wudu in it. Even if it's salty, it doesn't matter. The Prophet ﷺ was asked about it, and he said that it's pure. And that what lives in it, or what dies in it, or the fish that die in it, and so forth, the things that live in the water that die in there, you can eat it. It's halal, huh? Um, what about the smoke? The smoke tastes a little bit 
Okay, Jamil, good question. She said, what about the snow? Because it tastes different. The, the, it doesn't matter about the taste unless Najasa changes it. So if a tree leaf falls in the water, a whole bunch of leaves fall in the water, and it changes the color, the water's a little green, you can still make wudu. Why? Because it's not Najasa. Tea, uh, I mean, uh, tree leaves are not nudges. But if nudges, some dead animal falls in it and the smell, it changes the smell. A rat is dead in the water. Then you can't make wudu because the, the smell changed from najasa, not from something pure. So what about if we, if we have some, uh, if you're walking and you see a big, big, uh, you know, like a puddle, a big, or how about a pond? If you're if you're by a little pond, mm -mm. if you're by a little pond, you know what a pond is? Yes. A, a pond is a body of water, like a small lake. You know what a lake is? Yeah, it's like it, it's a place where water, uh, not a river, a river moves, a river moves, but a pond is. Yeah, it could be a circle, it could be a square, it doesn't matter, you know, however Allah created it or if man made it. If it's a man-made lake or a man-made pond, the point is, is it's a body of water. Maybe it's a big body of water. So if, even if someone uses the bathroom in there, but it doesn't change it because it's a big body of water. A lake is very big. So it takes many, 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 many people using the bathroom before it's going to change from that najasa. So as long as it's a big body of water, a big, big body of water, or the water is moving like a river or a stream, then you could use it for wudu. You could use it for wudu. As long as it's not... If The, the main point is this, that if water changes from najasa, its smell, its... What else? The smell, and the color, and the taste. And the taste. If it changes the smell, the color, or the taste, from nudges, you can't use it. You cannot make wudu with that water. So any water, a big bucket of water, a pond, whatever it is, and there's some najasa in it, just a little bit, but it doesn't change the color, or the taste, and the smell, you can make wudu from it. But... Maybe it's not a good idea to make wudu because maybe you could get sick. But it's halal. If you have no other water, you can still use that water hukman. You know, it's according to the sharia that you can use that. Huh? What about the water that we use every day? The water that we use every day is okay. It comes out of the sink. It's not mixed with najasa. It's good water. That's good water. It's pure water. Any water you get out of a faucet generally and... And whatever you can use it for wudu, even a river, even if we're hiking in the mountains and you see river water. Like in Canada, there's so many beautiful places and rivers and stuff. And also Seattle and, and all those places. I always go to the mountains. That water, you can make wudu in it. You can make ghusl in it if you have to. It's okay. Because it's not changed from najasa. Okay? But if it's changed from najasa, you can't move it. You can't use it for, for wudu. One last point. If the water changes and people call it a different name, if it's water, but then people give it a, a new name because of its substance changes, then uh, uh, you, you can't use that. For example, this right here was water. You put water in that kettle, right? That was water. And we use water for wudu. But... When we put the tea leaves in there, the tea leaves are pure. They're not n nudges, but they changed it. We don't call that water anymore. Now it's called what? Tea. tea. Exactly. If you put coffee in it, it changed. Now we call it coffee. So the name is changed because the substance in there is changed. Although the origin was water. It used to be water. But because it changed from uh, if you put uh, Vimto, if you put Kool-Aid, if you put something else, 
We don't call that water anymore. We don't say, oh, that's red water with sugar. No, we call that Kool-Aid. We call that lemonade. We call that orange juice. We call it Vimto. We call it Tang, whatever. All of that, now those things, it changed the substance and now it is called that new name. So if it changes that, then you cannot make wudu with that because it's not water anymore. Now it's Tang or now it's coffee or now it's tea or now it's uh, Vimto. We understand? So let me ask you a question before we stop. If we have a, a big thing of of water, okay? Say if we go to in the kitchen and we have a nice big pot of water and we don't have any more water in the house. We ran out of water and we have a, a pot of water and it's time for Salat to make wudu. But we know that we had one of our guests over and it was, by, it was in the bathroom first and some nudges fell into it. What should we look at in that water? What should we check? It smells. If it smells. And if, if the color changes. If the color changes, good. And, and, the taste is, taste and if the taste changes. So you don't have to test the taste, but if you see that there's any changes, then you know it's changed from the najasa and you can't use it. Jazakumullah khairan. Allah yubarak fikum. Ayyuwa fuqaha. You guys are going to be scholars in fiqh, inshallah, bi'idnillah ta'ala. May Allah bless you to be that and more to serve His deen. Naam. Do you, um, if, uh, if the water bubble is still there, do someone comes and they 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 spit inside it uh -huh. and then and they burp they can't use it. Well, if they spit in it, their spit is not najasa. That's not najis. Spit is not najis. It came from a person, it's not najis. If they get sick in there, that's something different. If they get sick in there then that stuff, that could be, uh, that could be maybe najasa. That, because then it's probably changed, changed in its color because that could be their, their, when they puke or get sick, they throw up, it could have blood in it. It might, you know, and it, you know, has others waste in it. So this, you wouldn't make wudu with that if it changes the color, the smell, the taste. And even if it doesn't, you don't want to use it because it's it's kind of nasty. We don't from the culture, the order people say, oh, that's nasty. We don't want to use that. But I'm just saying the ruling in Islam, it's still lawful to use water, even if it has a little bit of najasa, as long as that najasa doesn't change the color, the smell, or the taste of the water. And I ask of all the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wassalamu alaikum wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Jazakallah khayr.